Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Samba or SMB server on an Android device. It's a really handy use for an old mobile phone or Android TV box that you might have kicking around that you've got no use for. Uh, it's really simple and straightforward. Um, this is on a non-rooted device that I'm doing this. So I will show you what to do. So first things first, go in the Play Store. Search for Samba server and select the first app which is Samba server. The Samba droid app is actually a bit better but you need a rooted device which this isn't. Install the app. So it's only a really small file, just over a megabyte. Open up the app. And to set up a Samba server, click Add SMB Server. You get a warning saying that your device isn't rooted. And all that means is you can't access it over your Wi-Fi network from a Windows or Linux computer. Um, so first things first, put in a server name. So I'll just call this one Shared. I'm going to change the HDD icon because I don't like Max. <laughs> uh, everything else you can just leave as it is. Apart from at the bottom, you want to select Start on Boot. And the reason for that is if your device loses power or you have a power cut, when it restarts, you want the Samba server to run straight away. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to share the contents of the SD card on this device. You can actually plug in an external hard drive, or a portable hard drive, to uh, the Android device and share that. So you can use it as a server for your media, etc. So I'm just going to call this shared SD card. And then if you hit browse you will be able to find towards the bottom of my device a folder called SD card 1 which is my SD card so if you hit select folder then hit back yes to save the settings and you can see the shared SD cards now in there in the list Go back onto settings and hit back. Yes to save in the settings. And then hit start. This will start the server. So now I'm going to jump onto another Android device and show you that I can now browse the SD card from this device. Okay guys, now I'm on another one of my Android devices. This time I'm just going to access the Samba server that I've set up. So I'm going to use the S File Explorer Pro. Now one of the easiest ways to do it is just go straight into Network and hit Refresh. Sorry, hit Scan. It should find it straight away, so I'm just going to hit Hide. So this first one here, that this Android Dash BAFD blah blah blah. This is the server that I've set up. So shared SD card. And I've now actually got direct access to the files on my other device, which is very handy for streaming films, etc. Thanks for watching.